Howdy friends and neighbors, it's your old pal Carl here, and I just want to send out this video with some need to know info for the first running of the Hot Dog Eater 50 Kilometer. Hope this will answer any questions you may have. Following the need to know info, there will be a 10 minute virtual tour I'll take you on the whole route of the 50K. Number one on the need to know info is the start time. We will begin handing out bibs and checking people in at about 6.30 or 7 on Friday morning with a planned start time of 8 a.m. Start, finish, and check-in will all take place at 3327 28th Street in Astoria, Queens. It's a personal residence, so there's a number of coffee shops and bagel spots very close in the neighborhood for some morning carbo loading. Number two on the need to know info is that this whole event is go as you please. Participants can run, walk, ride, etc. Because we allow any means of transportation, we can't really make this a race, so it's best to think of it as an urban adventure. You will be moving through the city uh, on streets and greenways. You should follow all traffic laws, stop at the stoplights, and pay attention to cross traffic as these things will be elements that you will have to consider and negotiate throughout the day. There's definitely a pace through moving uh, through New York. It's slow and it's steady. Please practice defensive pedestrianism and be conscious of your own safety. In the event of an accident, first call 911 and utilize Uber or Lyft to get the care that you may need, but do let the organizers know via text if anything happens. Additionally, in the event of a DNF, please inform the organizers, me, because if not, we'll be waiting for you all night, so let us know. Number three on the need to know is uh, City Bike. It's the bike share program here in New York, and it's a great way to supplement your running or having a friend or pacer join you throughout the day. There are many docks littered throughout the city. Download the app in advance if this is something you plan to use. Alternatively, you can use your Lyft app to uh, rent a bike, but please note that the last city bike dock is at the beginning of Ocean Parkway and there are no docks uh, down at Coney Island. So that last five miles to Coney Island has no docks. Uh, number four on the need to know is uh, participants are able to leave a drop bag when they get their bib. The organizers will transport it to Coney Island, the halfway point. Uh, drop bags can contain dry clothes and nutrition or anything you may need for the second half of the run. Uh, number five on the need to know is bring cash. In the event that you need something you forgot to pack, uh, you'll be able to stop at the numerous corner stores and shops along the route. Also, some may require you to purchase something to use their restroom. Cash on hand will be very important. Number six on the need to know. Uh, participants can have pacers join them at any time during their adventure. You can ar arrange a crew to meet you along the route or join us at the aid station in Coney Island. Make sure that all participants with the bib check in at the aid station in Coney Island. This is an analog event so our volunteers will be waiting for all participants unless informed of a DNF. Number seven, on the need to know, polar plunge and hot dogs will happen down at Coney Island at your own discretion, located at the aid station on the boardwalk. Uh, number eight, have fun, pace yourself. This will be a challenging day. Cross traffic will act as a natural governor for the faster runners. Watch the crosswalk signs that are per perpendicular to your direction. They will usually give you a countdown as to when your light is going to change green. Again, there's a pace that you can find to move 
smoothly through the city. Uh, number nine, finish is located the same place as the start. We will give all participants medals and have some celebratory refreshments. Number 10, on the need to know info, is that this is our very first attempt at this event. So please excuse any hiccups as we are figuring things out and learning ourselves. We would also love any feedback that participants may have, and we'll follow up with a survey whenever we're all said and done. So rest up, and we'll see you on Friday morning in Queens. Stay tuned for our virtual tour of the Hot Dog Route. Let's take a virtual tour of the Hot Dog Eater 50 Kilometer Route. All right, chilly day here in Queens. We're gonna take you on a tour of the Hot Dog Eater 50 Kilometer. Starting here at 28th Street in Queens. First mile is straight down this road. 28th Street is the first mile. Go right down there till you hit Queensboro Plaza. All right, we're about a mile in. This is Queensboro Plaza. We'll be coming from this way. We're going that way. Do not enter the bridge. Don't enter the bridge. We're going to turn left on 23rd Street. down 23rd Street to 44th Drive. Follow the bike lane to the Pulaski Bridge. Down 44th Drive, hang a left on 11th Street. Looks like this, you'll hang a left on 11th Street. It will take you straight to the Pulaski Bridge. Entering the bridge will look like this. You will notice here that I do jaywalk. There's a hand and I ignore it. Uh, people jaywalk in New York. If you decide to, please be careful and look both directions before you do. Pulaski Bridge looks like this. Bikes to the left, people on foot to the right. Cross the Pulaski Bridge, hang a right onto Freeman Street. You can see the bike lane signs. You've got about three big blocks on Freeman until you hit west. So you go Freeman to West, and it looks like this could be mildly confusing because it says all traffic goes to the right, but we're going to go left on West. All traffic except bikes, and of course, pedestrians can go anywhere on the sidewalk. So left on to West, Freeman and West looks like this. Continue down west, it will kind of turn into Kent, and Kent will go all the way down to Grand. Now at Grand and Kent, it will look like this big white building will stick out. Here is where you will uh, make a right and go one block over into Domino Park. Domino Park is a beautiful site, and it also has bathrooms and water uh, for all the runners if you need it. Domino Park, let's see, 4.6 miles in, uh, it's a beautiful spot. Uh, there's bathrooms at Domino Park, and you come all the way down to the water. Continue on Kent and go around till you see Williamsburg Street. Uh, this will help you get around the Navy Yard. Williamsburg Street, you'll be on this for just a second. Uh, there's a bike lane and a sidewalk, and you go Williamsburg Street to Flushing, down Flushing, and then you'll hang a left onto Claremont, uh, which will show you the direction to Prospect Park. So you go up Claremont to the park. At Atlantic, you'll switch over to Vanderbilt. That intersection looks like this, and Vanderbilt will take you straight up to Grand Army Plaza, uh, which is how you enter the park. About eight miles in, 
up Vanderbilt, you'll hit Grand Army Plaza. Enter the park through Grand Army Plaza. You get to go past the archway here, which is really cool. And Prospect Park is one of the more beautiful portions of the route. Uh, you stay on the main path and just follow its direction. You go to the right and you can stop here at the picnic house. There is a bathroom located there uh, for Prospect Park. Come down the hill and exit at Park Circle. About mile 10 right now. You come down a big hill in Prospect Park, see the lake. And that's when you know to exit what they call Park Circle here. You can see we exit this way. This will take us over to Ocean Parkway. Exiting Park Circle will look like this. Cruise around, stay to the right, and you're gonna follow the sign that says to Ocean Parkway. Now this is a little horse path right here, but then after that you're on the route to Ocean Parkway, which is the bulk of the run. All right, this is Ocean Parkway. This side is pedestrian. And over there is the last city bike docking station before Coney Island, and that's the bike side on that side. Um, you can also, pedestrians can go on that side just on the other side of the barrier. And it's a straight five mile ride to Coney Island. You see it down there. Straight down the Ocean Parkway, five miles. Uh, it's a straight shot, it's pretty cool. All the cross streets will be lettered, so you can watch the letters go all the way down to Z as you cruise down the Ocean Parkway. Whenever that's done, you know you're just about to the beach. It will look like this when you arrive to the boardwalk and cruise th through this little circle. Of course, looking both ways for traffic and entered onto the boardwalk via this ramp and you'll see the sign here Coney Island Beach now our aid station will not be set up right past this you'll have to go about three quarters of a mile down to your right um, and we'll be set up right outside of Nathan's famous hot dogs so when you get up onto the boardwalk hang a right and cruise down and we'll be set up right outside of Nathan's. It looks like this. Been around for a hundred years. Uh, this one on the boardwalk will be closed. Uh, Nathan's on the boardwalk closes uh, during the winter, but we'll be set up right across from that. Here's me eating a hot dog just to prove that I can do it, but you won't need to go to the old Nathan's. We'll be set up right out there. Um, on this day, there happened to be uh, the Polar Bear Club was out swimming in the water when I ran by. So you can see people splashing around out there, hooting and hollering, having a good time. So back the same way you came. We came down Ocean Parkway, so we're going back up. The letters will go up instead of down, and it'll be about five miles, and you'll hit the park. You'll see Park Circle again here. Complete the circle, and then enter Prospect Park again the same way that you exited. Uh, you'll cruise right through but instead of returning uh, the route that you came you'll continue on the main path and finish the entirety of the park. It's about the park is about a three mile loop total so go around the lake up a big hill and exit. You guessed it where you entered at Grand Army Plaza. Now anytime you're crossing the path here make sure you're mindful of bikes because they're cruising really fast. So crossing the designated pedestrian place, you'll see a man come past me here running. He's cruising and I would of course like to take a second to point out this bicyclist who does this really cool move and a wheelie. That's New York, baby. Now cruise back through Grand Army Plaza, down Vanderbilt to Flushing, over to Kent, back through Domino Park, back on to West, we're in Greenpoint, come over to the waterfront on Freeman, and we go back to the Pulaski Bridge on Eagle. Alright, almost done. Eagle over to Pulaski, 
back down 43rd drive and this uh, only difference from here on out is we'll return on crescent uh, the last mile will be crescent instead of 28th street come down crescent 33rd ave 28th street start where you finished uh, you can see it took me about 33 miles so it'll be 50k plus uh, it's going to be a challenge but it's going to be fun we'll see you on friday peace and love Thank you.